Hey, here we are. I'm running late, so this, you're lucky. This will be a short video, but <clears throat> you know, I had to show you. I got in a new Razor uh, hammer, not the hammer. So uh, first off, thought that's a little weird. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you call it the hammer? Anyway, it's Hammer by Pearl. Comes in this this box here. Um, this is the razor itself. I got it because it's heavy. <clears throat> and I, I like a heavy razor. I'm $44 uh, for this. It's actually uh, machined very well. I like the, I don't prefer like a little ball on the end, but it's not bad. And I like, like the barber pole, whatever here. Um, <clears throat> and it comes with two plates. It comes with the, the straight, closed, whatever, and then the open uh, comb. Uh, which is, uh, again, cool, especially for $44, um, because I haven't used an open comb for a long, long time. I think early on, I tried a couple, and they felt too aggressive, so I just didn't. <clears throat> so I'm curious to try an open comb again, and this allows me to do it without buying. Uh, I feel like you, you get it for free, right? So, uh, so I, um, I will say... I should weigh them. I should have, again, uh, Nurse Day Saving World, we do no preparation. Um, <clears throat> it is it is heavier than the Rockwell 6S. It's also longer by by quite a bit. Uh, what's interesting is, here's the uh, black, uh, the Holy Black SR71. Uh, you can see it's even uh, longer than that. This one's still heavier. This one is still heav heavier. I don't know if it comes across or yeah, yeah I think you can see this one uh, larger diameter <clears throat> and when you get the forces of pi r squared involved uh, a little change makes a lot of difference I guess um, <clears throat> so let's load this up anyway um, one thing I also well that's all right we'll load it up and we'll talk about it um, it comes with a little uh, grommet uh, I was going to say it's silicone, but it's hard. It's like a hard plastic. And it comes with extra ones of those, which, again, is a nice touch. For $44, this is like, a, <clears throat> to me, a, a bargain, uh, but not maybe bargain basement, but a certainly very affordable razor. Um, <clears throat> um, so to, uh, and it seems like it's a, uh, machined pretty well let's see if this is not the slipping right there we go um kind of tight tolerances it seems but the fact that it comes with two plates and they think of like an extra like put giving you so i'm not going to tighten that too far down because it, it's hard um and maybe that's why they give you extras is uh because it could break instead of just being compressed which is interesting i've only ever seen like silicone rubber, whatever they are. Uh, my my lather's a bit sticky. A bit sticky, add a little water. Um, the little washers, I've only seen them compressible. So it's interesting that they chose ones that could, could break, I don't know. Um, I've seen back, back in the day, uh, some people post, is there a reason for having those there? Uh, really, no. The only reason would be is that you don't scrape up the bottom of your plate when you're twisting it, which I get, you know, if you want to, some people are into that, keeping their razor as nice looking as possible. Um, <clears throat> you know me, they're tools. They're just tools. So if it gets scratched up underneath there, whatevs. Um, also, you know, when you're using it, it's like, that's where it attaches. So you never see the scratches, but you know, whatever I see when I, uh, was younger, uh, and, uh, cared about such things, uh, when I washed my car, you know, especially when you, when you're first driving and all the stuff, you get excited about your first few cars, I would wash the, the top of the engine, the, you know, the air filter covers, and, you know, where you put your hood down, kind of those channels, all that, this the gorgeous, but gorgeous, nobody sees that, right, but it feels good, same thing, okay, slow down, new razor, Okay, um, I should say we're using a wisdom at blade as always. Oh, wow. This is nice. Um, so, you know, sometimes uh, with even with the wisdom at, unless it's just because I'm being careful or carefuler than normal, um, there was no tugging at all. This is a brand, brand new blade. 
Um, and you know, sometimes for the first few strokes, you're, you're uh, working off the burrs or whatever. It can't be burr. So I would say what's interesting is I feel the blade. Um, it's not tugging or, or I mean, it's just, it's like a knife through butter, but I'm feeling it, which makes me wonder if this is too aggressive for me. I'm feeling the blade. It's being much more efficient in that when I'm hitting areas where I could normally feel a little bit more uh, resistance because of thicker hairs or what have you. Uh, not at all with this, which I'm thinking, oh, this is great. Look at this. This is just like, you know, so I'm going to knock the, the Rockwell 6S off of the, the DE uh, winter stand, uh, but we will see because uh, the concern is it's doing that because it's a much more aggressive uh, uh, display. It, you can, I don't know if you can. It's kind of tough to see. It is, I think it is kind of more, the blade is a little bit, what you call it, shallower, unlike this, where that that was a bit, bit uh, more mild on your face. It's a bit more aggressive, I think, than the, the 6S. Um, a little gap there. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. I'm holding it in a weird, I just noticed I'm holding it way up near the head. Yeah, because it is a very long razor, um, but um, the the other thing that feels weird is that well, I guess it's not. I guess it's not bound. It doesn't. I guess it's bound. Why am I? I'm trying to. Is it there? I mean, I I need to move my thumb up on that nurdle just a, so like there is where it balances. So I guess that's a good place for holding it. But when I pick it up, it feels like, and I guess it is, all the weight is in the handle. I would like the head uh, to be a bit heavier, but I guess just, again, uh, laws of physics, there's a lot more mass and volume in the handle. I'm experiencing the same thing, though, that um, we will see. I'm a bit concerned right now because this is just, I mean not hesitating at all um and the reason i say i'm a little concerned is that to to get that smooth people hate that word right efficient it's not efficient it's efficient because i'm not it's not wait it feels like it's not wasting any energy that it like i said those spots where the the whiskers are but either uh thicker in uh density or thicker themselves uh, and normally you, you would just at least feel the vibration a little bit more uh, through the handle. Not not at all with this, which again makes me a little concerned. Maybe it's because it's more aggressive. And I will feel that when we get to the alum. Okay. And after we finish this side, we will do a check. There you go. Oh yeah. Let's see. Let's get a little bit more shallow. I think there might be a little bit more variability too in the angle you can use this at. I think I was getting, you know, you could see I was getting a bit more aggressive there, uh, eased up a little bit, uh, and some of the blade feel went away. Um. I don't know. We'll see. This area too, you know, even even with my expert technique, I have to be very careful. This area right here um, is very prone to soreness, especially when I have a razor that, you know, I don't know, not magical, and I'm, and I'm trying to get a super close BBS. Um, so let's, wow, okay. That's a really good shave. That is, okay, yeah, it's, I think, I think, I think it might be a bit aggressive. Got a little bit of sting down here. We're going to, and we're going to check this out. The wet BBS, we're almost there. Um, you know, sometimes 
with any other de eraser uh you know you get the we, we i don't have time i don't have time to get into it but you've got the dry down bbs and the wet bbs the wet bbs is tougher to get that's where the dolphins are screaming it's so smooth and so okay mm, perfect smooth push look for those whiskers oh there's some right there so you pull and you get them and you get it and then your your glass what's barber dave bbs g glass surface i don't know uh anyway your skin is like a ice skating rink, right? Um, I'm super smooth there. I can find a few, but much less than when I use the 6S. Um, I'm going to stop right there. Um, like I said, when this dries down, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be like glass. Um, look at it. Oh, yeah. It's... <laughs> All right. All right. Let's find out. Let's find out. Okay. That's okay. Yeah, I'm cheap. Look, I get this is a busted off piece. I think I have two or three brand new ones in the drawer. What are these like? Seventy-five cents a piece or something? But ooh, 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 woo, 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 yeah, Bowie, yeah, boy, yep, okay, all right. I know what's going on. I get it. It's aggressive. It's a bit aggressive. Uh, so there you go. That's uh. That's uh, my opinion. A bit aggressive for the nurse. Um, well, now what? I just bought a new razor. It's too aggressive. You know, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe this will be, uh, you know, the cadre. We like doing things that don't make financial sense. We could do a pass around with this thing, maybe. Uh, and spend more on shipping than if everybody just bought their own. You know, we do that kind of thing. Here, let me rinse this off, rinse off the album. Um, another thought is, I'll, I'll have to try it once or twice more, you know, since I own the thing. But uh, another thought is, is see if I can get it to work. Being even more careful about my angle, make it more shallow. But then it's like, and then what's the point? So I got razors I don't have to do that with. Why would you keep a razor that, uh, although, I don't know, I keep the uh, Asylum RX, <clears throat> that same thing, you, you better be pretty careful or it's going to light you up. So, may, I don't know, maybe this will be a challenge. And I, I like the weight, I like the feel, I like the looks for the most part, except the little bobbly thing at the end. Uh, time will tell. Uh, what do we use today? Empire. Oleo soap works. Um, and then every every shave. Whoppa! The little bar brought to you by Ooh, Brave Barbershop the Sweet is smelling barbershop in Tucson. Oh my gosh, what is it? Today's Thursday. Today is Thursday. If you watch this in the next few days, come back. Come well, I don't want you to come back. I don't know. <laughs> I do. But here's the difficulty. I was gonna say. Major Rich will be joining us live on Sunday. Um, and I'm going to say come back. Like, as I've said before, the problem is if you are chatting live, one, uh, YouTube doesn't keep those comments. So when people watch it back on recording, I realize we're speaking, we're responding to little chats that pop up on the screen there um, that, that people can't see, so I should probably read those, and I don't share with my glasses on, so I have a hard time reading those, uh, my buddy Barbara Dave said he could, what if he joined, uh, and not on camera, but just to read the comments, and I was thinking, you know, hey, that's a nice idea, except how did, how does that, how do you read, if you're not, if you're not joined live, where, where you, I think, um, even if, I don't know. I don't know if you can add more than one person on a YouTube Live. And if you can, I don't think you can add just audio. I think you, there'd be, I'm not on camera. It'd be like this. Made rich. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we'll work it. We're working on, uh, working on some ideas. I, I enjoyed um, the live thing really well. Uh, really like that. You know what the other problem is? <laughs> this stuff, I could, the ingredient list. Can you see? Yeah, I can't read that either, even with my glasses on. I always forget what has, um, not ethanol, that's what you power your truck with, but you know, the cooling stuff, I can't put that on my cheeks, it burns, and I think it's in there, menthol, 
because uh, I'm feeling the, the vapors. Luckily, it's not really uh, uh, lighting me up. I I, kinda, I smell like a peppermint patty and stuff, but oh, maybe we're, maybe we're okay. Well, this is fun. There we hot and cold, uh, new shave. All right, I got to get to work. I uh, hope you enjoyed the, uh, the, the quickie review. I'll see you on the forums.